Okay, so I'm using ClearLAM today. ClearLAM's an epoxy resin from Adhesive Technologies in Auckland. And I've used this one a couple of times now for sealing uh, my timber prior to doing my big resin pours, as well as using it for the final surface on my, ta on my tabletops. This resin's really good. The ratio is two, 2 to 1 uh, by volume. So for every litre of resin, we use half a litre of uh, hardener. So I'm just going to mix this up and uh, give my top a very, very thin coat. Ideally, you don't want to try to make a, a, big, um, a big pour. When you're doing your sealing, you only want to put a fraction of a millimetre for the first coat across the timber for the epoxy resin to settle into the into the material. I normally use a squeegee or a brush to make this application. Okay, so when I come to mix my resin, what I normally do is I normally put my hardener in first and then put my uh, my main bulk of my, uh, my resin in. Um, the reason for putting the hardener in first is the outside of the container will get uh, a coating of hardener on it and uh, it'll mix well into the main uh, body of the epoxy resin. If you put the main body in first and then the hardener, there's chances are you're going to have resin that's uncured and sticky and um, yeah, it can cause a few issues, so it's always best to put your hardener in first. When I'm mixing my epoxy resin, I normally just use a uh, two inch wide uh, stick, uh, something that's quite wide and something that I can easily scrape the sides of the container with to get all the residue off. You can buy some fancy drills and bits and pieces like that, and I only use the drill and the attachments for mixing resin when I'm going to mix a big pour like 20 to 40 kilos at a time. Another thing to remember when you're mixing the epoxy, it's always good to use the two bucket system. What I do is I mix my epoxy in my first bucket and once I've mixed it thoroughly through for a few minutes, I pour it into my second container. making sure that I scrape down the sides of my first container, then mix it again in the second container before transferring it back to the first container, if that makes sense. The reason for doing this, it just ensures that the epoxy is very well mixed together. Yeah, let's get started with spreading this epoxy out and getting this um, paper top sealed. Rightio, let's get this uh, tabletop sealed. That is going to be more than enough. There's most likely about a litre on here at the moment. And I'm just using my little... Well, I'm using my wife's window scraper at the moment. I don't think she's going to be able to stoked about that, but never mind. So, I'm not really worried about how thick it is. I don't want it thick at all. I want it really thin, uh, so it really soaks into the timber. Um, don't get too hung up on, oh, I've poured out my epoxy and I've got spots that are wet and spots that are dry and then go back and try to fill up those spots because there's no point. Um, the reason for that is some parts of timber will suck the epoxy in a lot faster than others and um, you're going to come back and give it a second and possibly a third or fourth coat but I normally find that two to three coats, uh, very thin seal coats 
It was more than enough to uh, seal my work. Try not to get too much running out of the sides. I brushed the sides when I did the first coat, so I'm not really worried about the sides too much. Just concentrate on getting this top done so we can move on to the next one. This water is called beach and the black lines in it it's quite interesting really it's a fungal like a fungal disease or infection that got into the tree and over time the fungus has been compressed and that's uh that's what makes the, the blue lines uh the black lines right This timber is quite hard to work with. Uh, I had a few issues with another table I did. But um, it's worth it. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm halfway through uh, doing the slab. We'll leave it there because I'm sure you get the general idea. So I resin the um, tabletop. Uh, to seal coat it but I actually put uh, too much resin on initially which is a bit of a bummer so now I have to sand it all the way back as, as you can see here we've got lots of hundreds of little air bubbles and um, when I sanded them off smooth it still left the dust in the little pits and uh, so now I have to sand that all the way back and uh, have to sand all the way back and re-resin it um, the next coat I'll put on I think I'll put it on only about half a mil thick and um, try to get a couple of good coats of seal coat on it <laughs> 